not a problem, all right, because all the coaches know what to do. So my job is just to be here and manage everything until uh, BA makes its return. From yesterday to today, did you have any guys that were out for any other reasons that we don't know about? Or? No, just normal procedure. Anybody that went, got tested, that's between them and Skaggs, and you just go from there. So uh, obviously we know right now the COVID bug's going around. The guy's got it. He's got it. Uh, it's going around the league, so there's no way around it. We just got to be smart and make sure we don't pass it around the building the best we can. How are you guys um, adjusting to the new rules that allow people to come back in five days? Are you, are you expecting some people to come off the COVID list throughout the week here in a little bit quicker fashion than maybe what you were anticipating? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. With that, that rule of five days, we've got a couple guys that may make that window. Uh, whether it be game ready, I don't know. That's up to them and their body and how they feel about the game plan. But, you know, hopefully uh, if the rules allow, we try to get everybody back, we can. But we have plenty of guys that we can win games with if those guys don't make it back. Uh, we had a lot of, a lot of guys uh, come in last week in Carolina. They did a great job of substituting for guys, making plays. Uh, Sarah would be one. And there's a lot of other players uh, that uh, came out and made plays for us. But, yeah, we like to get those guys back. Just a result of those guys who have had to step in and have played well, risen to the challenge. Once the other guys come back, you think you'll be a deeper team offensively? Yes, because those guys will have a lot of game experience. You know, we talk about the preseason, but really in the preseason, nobody gets a lot of snaps. You get a few here, a few there, but uh, there's nothing like real football, ma football that matters. And uh, for those guys to get those reps last week and pay dividends, uh, you know, the running back, uh, Sneak, and uh, Searle as well, having big plays was awesome. So uh, that will uh, help us out down the road. What can you say about the fortitude of this team? Just, I know we're entering the, the COVID bug right now, but even from week one, the injury bug has been something that you guys have been dealing with and continually the finding ways to win games with people out, mixing people in yes. and out. Just what has that been like this entire season? Well, from day one, you know, next man up. And B.A. always tells the team that everybody in this room or the locker room or the team meeting, whatever, you're capable because uh, you're here for a reason. So we always say the next man up. So when one man goes down, another guy's got to rise to, rise to the occasion. And for a player, as a competitor, you want to do well. And so far, so good. Knock on wood, we had those guys step in and do a nice job. Have you guys in the last... Yeah, you did, yeah. Have you guys in the last week just instilled any stricter protocols just as an organization? Uh, just trying to wear your mask in the building. Uh, try to stay uh, six feet apart. Uh, make sure you honor all the rules inside the building. And even when we were over in the team meeting this morning, I just had to remind guys to spread out. Uh, just get away from each other just because it's just a dangerous time right now, not only for us as players, but for the nation, for the world, for that, uh, for that part. But uh, we just got to be smart about it. It's here. We all know it's here, and we just have to be aware of what we're doing, uh, shaking hands, washing our hands, all that kind of thing. Just be smart. I know that you guys have an emergency quarterback in Sam Brady. Some teams are having a quarantine quarterback. Are you guys doing anything additional other than, than having Sam as, as kind of your emergency QB in case of COVID hits that room? At this point, I don't think so, but that would probably be between Jason and B.A. Uh, at this point, I think it's business as usual with the quarterback room. They do a great job of being smart, uh, how they carry themselves around each other. And uh, so, knock on wood, so far we're good at that spot. Did you get a chance to talk to B.A. today? Has he, has he spoken with you since he uh, came out here as his successor? For the well, it was yesterday morning. I haven't talked to him today. It was yesterday morning and my phone rang, and just the pit of my stomach just knew what that phone call was about to be about because he never calls me in the morning because I expect him to be in the office. And, uh, you know, himself, just being the way he is, he goes, hey, got a little problem with this COVID thing. Uh, you got it. I was like, okay. He's like, all right, talk to you later. Click. And uh, <laughs> I actually ended up calling him back last night. We talked for a little while. And he goes, hey, I don't want to do any Zoom meetings. I trust you. And uh, you'll do great. Just be yourself. And uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. So that's all he said to me. Yes. I would say so, and I view B.A. as one of my major mentors as, as far as my coaching career because, like you said, I've been with him a lot, and uh, I probably in some kind of shape or form carry a lot of his manner, mannerisms, mannerisms too. Uh, I don't ride the golf cart, but uh, a lot of things he does, says, he sees, I see the same thing, so it makes it an easier transition for me. You know, my job is just to follow protocol as far as the things he wants done, how, they want, how he wants them done, and just make sure I follow through with them. And how about you and, and, and Byron, obviously, because, like, you're overseeing the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, 
It's fine. We all I got to do on game day is just manage timeouts. Uh, if BA doesn't make it back, uh, just situational football things as far as going for it, not going for it. At the end of the day, Byron's won the Super Bowl here with us. Done a great job. Todd's done a great job defensively. So my job is just to help them with whatever they need, and uh, not uh, you know put my foot down until it comes to like maybe short yardage play as far as going for it, not going for it, and things of that nature. Yes, sir. Well, I think you, uh, when you're in this profession, you want to be a head coach. I've had the pleasure of interviewing with a couple of teams in the past, uh, you know, but I know this league is predicated a lot on play callers. Uh, why? I don't know, but, you know, Everybody likes play callers, but there are a lot of good coaches out here in this, in this National Football League that are good leaders. They just don't happen to call plays like myself. Uh, I do want that. Hopefully one day it will come my way. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's in God's hands. But like I said, there's a lot of good coaches on a lot of good teams that need that opportunity that don't. And uh, they don't call plays. But we talk about what makes a head coach. It's about building cultures, being leader, leaders of men, and uh, just having that disciplinary uh, authority type figure that can get a team behind you and, and, and fight for you. There are a lot of good coaches out here that can do that that are not coordinators. That's all I'll say towards that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Because they weren't prepared in those situations. Yeah, uh, BA's been around a long time, so he has a good feel, of that, feel for that kind of stuff. I think Todd does as well since he's been a head coach. Uh, for me going forward, obviously, Todd would be somebody I would listen to, or uh, Clyde Christensen is somebody I lean towards or as far as when to take timeouts and things of that nature. But uh, yeah, unless you get that experience, unless you've been <laughs> in that position with that whistle around your neck and that hat on your head and you're the boss, you don't know what it's feel like. it feels like to when to make that call and when not to. So it's a learned experience for everybody and just a curve that comes with being in the position. Okay, final question. And I just want a uh, point of clarification. So while Bruce is gone, he's going to stay out of everything. So it'll just be the people in-house here. He never stays out of everything. <laughs> he's in constant contact with Byron, Todd. Uh, I've talked to him. I'm sure I'll talk to him again today. And then Jason's also a messenger as well. So uh, at the end of the day, BA is part of this. This is BA's show. Uh, this is BA's team. And uh, this is the players' team. So. We're just here as figures heads just to make sure we get through Sunday and get a victory if B.A. doesn't make it back. Thank you. Thank you, yep. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.